Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder. We're back with another unboxing video. This one's coming from Lightning Source, uh, Laverne, Tennessee. I'm fairly certain that this is, uh, I'm pretty certain I know what this is. Uh, it is a print on demand from Drive-Thru RPG. These things used to come apart so nicely if you were just kind of careful with them, and now they just kind of fall apart. Uh, let's see, here's the receipt, invoice, and yeah, that's what I was looking for. So I saw this um, on Drive Through RPG, Drive Through RPG Random Book, Book of Random Tables, 1920s to 1930s. It looked interesting. I looked at the preview and uh, thought it, it was. Good enough to go ahead and buy a hard copy of as well as get the pdf 29 1d 100 random tables for tabletop role-playing games plus more than 400 slang terms cut down game master prep with random tables like rumors items in a desk items in a room names and many more the price was right it wasn't very expensive even for uh, print on demand um oh, that's cool uh so i thought i would grab a copy i was kind of like what the heck that'd be neat William Fox presents Pride 13. Um, <clears throat> it's. Uh, hmm, hold on. www.dicegeeks. I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's who makes it or not. But we've got uh, names, items, people, media, places, rumors, and slang. Um, American names, British names. Um, Fictional ancient texts, items in a room, and a desk, and a warehouse, monster hideout, best-selling books of the time, which that seems super useful to me because I'm always looking up these kind of things. I wish it put down the dates that they actually were released. Um, so it's basically it's lists for random figuring out random stuff and uh, fictional ancient texts. Which is kind of neat. Items in a room and a desk. Best-selling books. Unfortunately, you're going to have to look the book up anyway. When was Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men published? I don't know. Uh, automobiles, same way. At least it's got the year of the automobile. People, entertainers. Um, this could have They could have added the birth and death dates or the dates that they were entertainers. Artists and writers, athletes, world leaders, world leaders. Oh, that's the same one. Jobs, that, that's interesting. Media, songs, again, the year it was released would be very helpful here. Radio shows, again, a um, little more information would have been nice. Now, see, movies, and it's got the date that the movies were released. Movies, 1930s, that's perfect. That's exactly the kind of info I need. Ghost Towns, huh, number one and number two, interesting. And rumors, I like that. Uh, slang is very, very useful. And there you have it. Get free RPG resources at Dice Geeks. A couple extra pages and the back. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple, but it's not terribly expensive. And should make a nice little resource. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time.